Scotia Bank. I'll secure ten on the standing by. Hi guys and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now the 10 meter band is really interesting because normally in early summer we start to see sporadic E where we can make contacts up to a few thousand kilometers in these intense and sudden openings. However, at this time of year between say November and February, we start to see reliable F2 layer propagation. And in this time we see long daily openings. So with that in mind, I set out to purchase a 10 meter vertical antenna and a new dedicated 10 meter radio. Now this video will be more about the antenna and in another video, I'll cover the radio, but the choice of antenna was the Sirio Monsoon. Now the reason for choosing the Sirio Monsoon was down to that it's pretty much the latest 10 meter antenna Sirio have released and it can handle up to 1000 watts continuously. Not that I will use anywhere near that power, but it's nice to have the headroom. It has a gain of 1.2 dBd, a tuning range from 26 to 30 megahertz, so it's also good for you CB guys out there, and it also supports a bandwidth of around 1.3 megahertz. The monsoon, when fully built, comes in at just over 23 feet in length, but it only weighs 3 kilograms, which is pretty light compared to some of the other antennas that I've recently built. What I also like about this antenna is the tuning. It's all performed at the base, and with included instructions, you can pretty much get the tune correct before installing it on your mast. Now, before we can use it, we have to build it. And first, I just check to ensure all the required parts are here. The black collars you can see there are fitted at each join. You also get a couple of Allen keys included, but you also need a Phillips or crosshead screwdriver for the build. Now first I'll need to attach all the sections, they slot into each other like this. Just do not forget to fit that collar too, as this will need to slide over. Now this is where the self-tapping screws come into play. There are two per section. One of the screws will also go through the plastic collar, but remember to use a washer for this screw. The other screw that's lower down doesn't appear to need that washer. Now you can pretty much build this antenna on your own, at least until you get to attaching the ground radials, but for these sections, you can do it yourself. As you start attaching the sections, you will start to realize just how long this antenna is. Now luckily, it does actually look smaller once it's up in the air. When you are building the antenna, it will be a good idea to have the manual to hand. Now the top section actually attaches using a grub screw, hence the included Allen keys. Now you do need to ensure that the top section has a length of 1000 millimeters or one meter between the tip of the last section and the point just under that circular part. Now with the main antenna now put together, I needed to build the radials. There's four radials all together, which is made up from eight parts. Two parts slide into each other like this and a grub screw holds them in place. You can check the manual again for the measurements, but they should be 850 millimeters from the grub screw to the tip. One last adjustment to make before attaching the radials and hoisting it up to the mast will be to adjust the tuning. Now using the supplied Allen key, you can loosen the tuning part. Now there's two grub screws which hold this in place. The antenna will come pre-tuned for 26.4 to 27.6 megahertz. But as I only want to use this on the SSB portion of the 10 meter band, I'll adjust it so it's somewhere between these two points. Now you simply loosen the grub screws and just move it around carefully to the desired location and then tighten the grub screws back up again. Now I didn't record attaching the radials or installing the antenna onto the mast, but this is what it looks like when it's up. If we zoom in on the base, we can see the four radials attached. Each of these radials are held into the housing using just one single grub screw each. Now in the accessories kit, you do get the U-bolts so you can mount the base of the antenna onto a mast of your choice. Here I think it's around four to five meters off the ground. Now with this base loaded ground independent half wave antenna, five to six meters is pretty much the lowest you'd want to install it. Ideally eight to 12 meters for optimum performance, but above 15 meters, the gain improvements will be minimal compared to the complexity and wind load risk. You'd also want to install the antenna at least one wavelength away horizontally from any obstacles. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that 
because my conservatory was in the way. So back in the shack, I connected up my antenna analyzer to check the SWR, and I set it to a scanning range from 26 to 30 megahertz. At around 26.4 megahertz, the SWR was 2.9. At 28.4, which is exactly where I want to use this antenna, the SWR was 1.5. Now a bit further up the band at 29.6, which is where we normally find the 10 meter FM repeater output, the SWR was around 1.8. Now 1.8 is still perfectly usable, and if you wanted to, you could use a tuner just to bring that down. But with 28.4 being my prime interest, I think I nailed that tuning part perfectly without needing to bring the antenna back down again. Okay, so let's take a listen around the 10 meter band to see what I can hear. The home call sign is uh, Foxtrot 6 Delta, Juliet, November. Uh, but uh, doing great into Thailand tonight. Uh, to be quite a, an opening uh, into Europe uh, 5 and 9, uh, basically, uh, to last a few or three or four hours. We're using a really good uh, Voice of America program to look at it, but we're looking at probably Europe is going to close soon. So we're seeing what we can do, but it's been quite active. They're running a 101 Delta. All right, five and nine is your last over, buddy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, guys, I am live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. If you want to hear your station, uh, there's a link on my QRZ page, or just type in my call sign on YouTube. Uh, come on in and uh, check it out. November X-ray number eight, Tango, North America. Yeah, I can't complain. All is well, you know. I'm, I I work hard at trying to stay healthy, Tom. That means uh, that means don't eat too much, don't drink too much, get a bit of exercise, and so far I think it's uh, it's paying dividends. Over. Now I did also perform some FTA tests. Now I performed some tests in the morning, which provided this result on the PSK Reporter website. Interesting how the signals were being received in one particular direction. I then tested FTA again, but later in the day, and this time most of the signals were going the other way. That's most likely due to the grey line location, where the daytime centre actually was at the time of transmitting. Now I made a few contacts using the President Washington radio, and I also used my FT710 radio. Thank you, and go 73, bye bye. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Queen Whiskey 59. Yeah, 5 9 also. Thank you. Thank you. 9K to Echo Sugar. CQ 10 meters, uh, calling 10 meters. Italy, Kilo 4, Lima, Zulu Hotel. Italy, Kilo 4, Lima, Zulu Hotel. Calling 10 meters. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Uh, nice to meet you. You're coming here 5 and 9, 59, Matthew. QSL? Yeah, QSL 5 9 here as well. Nice and strong, sounding great. Hope you get lots of contacts on 10 this afternoon. Over. Very good, dear yeah. John in the city of Bologna, north of it. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Okay, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Good afternoon for Greece, uh, Matt. Uh, nice to meet you again from 5 to be over 9. Very strong signal now, Rosen. Yeah, you're lovely and strong here as well. 10 to 20 dB over 9. Uh, very nice to work with this afternoon, Michael, and uh, lovely, uh, lovely contact. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, Roger, Marco, yeah, you're 5 and 9 here also. Lovely and strong into the UK this afternoon on 10 metres. I think this is the first time we may have worked. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha, Tango, Tango. And uh, yeah, you're lovely 5 and 9, QSL. And your president is working very well. The audio is perfect. I suppose you use an HF transceiver. Also in the check, I have one president a very long time. Well, there we go, guys. 10 meters is wide open right now and for the next few months. And especially as we're at the top of the solar cycle or just after it, these next few months should be pretty interesting when it comes to using 10 meters. Now, you don't have to go and spend lots of money on antennas. You can make one yourself. This is just an antenna that I wanted to try and see how well it would work, especially with a dedicated 10 meter radio. Like I said earlier, there'll be a video dedicated purely to the 10 meter radio that I showed you in this video, the President Washington. So watch out for that if you're interested. Now, I think it's a really good radio, definitely better than some of the other 10 meter radios that I've shown before on the channel. 
So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.